uh, let's look at it. Um, Julia is planning to sell her car, which is fueled by gasoline, petrol, and averages 20 miles per gallon. Okay, so let's say petrol averages 20 miles per gallon. So I would say that this is the mileage, right? And this is 20 miles per gallon. Look, I like to write the units very clearly, especially when I'm dealing with mileage, things that are not very intuitive, right? things that I don't deal with every day. There I like to write the units because it helps me think of the relations between the quantities. Yeah. Um, so I'll talk uh, more about it shortly. Okay. And purchase a diesel fuel car that averages 30 miles per hour. So diesel is 30 miles per hour. Now, of course, make sure that um, per gallon, sorry, 30 miles per gallon, right? Yeah. Um, make sure that you put down the information, you know, in, in a column. You know, when you're comparing petrol versus diesel right next to each other, so then the chances of making an error are very less. Yeah. Okay, she estimates that her future cost per gallon of diesel fuel will be 5% higher than is her present cost per gallon of gasoline. So let's say if this is one, this is going to be 5% higher, so 1.05. Yeah, this will be the cost dollar per gallon, cost per gallon. So per each gallon. I'll just write this. She wishes to estimate the annual cost fuel, blah, blah, something, something, and the annual cost fuel. Okay, we'll think, we'll see, you know, now what she, they're asking. For now, let me look at what other information I have. Let X represent Julia's present annual cost per gallon of gasoline in X dollars. So I'm given that this cost per gallon is X over here. Yeah, so this is given to me in terms of X. So I have this as dollar X per gallon. And so I, I know here, then this has to be 1.05 X. Are we okay with it? Dollar 1.05 X per gallon because it is 5% more. So dollar 1, uh, 1.05 X. Okay. And let Y re equal her present annual total of miles driven. So this is your distance, which is going to be Y miles per year, annual, right? So I want to be very, very clear about what is given to me. So that is why I'm writing down the units so that I don't make a mistake. I know that she drives currently Y miles per year because this is the annual distance driven. Okay, um, select for cost an appropriate expression for Julia's estimate of one above. So whatever this one is, we'll take a look. For cost, what does this mean? Again, as we discussed last time, do not get confused. When this is select for, they are basically talking about the heading over here. So select for cost. So this thing for this heading, select. And select for miles. For, for this heading, select for miles, right? An appropriate expression of two above. Okay. So the distance that she will drive with diesel, we don't know. So we have a question mark over here. Just let's leave it there. Now, what is one and what is two? What do we have to find is the point. The annual cost of fuel for her new car, if she maintains her present annual total uh, miles driven. So what do I want? I want the total cost, total cost for the entire year, annual cost of fuel, right? Total cost is equal to what? Again, it's something that we have discussed in the uh, module as and in the video as well. And it, it's an important concept, right? Um, you know, we talked about how total cost can remain same. Total cost is given by quantity into price per unit of quantity. Anyway, this is a relation that we do understand. Yeah, economics relation. So quantity into the price. This gives me what? The total cost, right? Now, how do I get? I know the price. Price I have. I'm asked about the total cost of the diesel car. I have the price, which is simply 1.05x. Okay, great. What about the quantity? How many gallons will be total cost of the fuel, right? So then the quantity will be of the fuel and the price will be of the fuel. Price I have. 
What about the total quantity of the fuel used? How do I find that? Total quantity of fuel used, look at this. I have mileage, which is miles per gallon. I need the total gallons of fuel used. And I am also given the annual cost for fuel for her car if she maintains her present annual total miles driven. So for one, only for my point one, this is equal to Y miles as well. Because if she maintains the same distance driven for the entire year, so if this is also Y. Yeah, this will be Y miles per year. How will I find the total gallons that she consumes per year? How do I find the total gallons? It will simply be Y upon 30. That is the distance driven upon the mileage. And if you're not sure of this, think about this. My distance driven is what? Miles per year, annual, doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, I can write per year if I wish, it doesn't matter. My mileage is miles per gallon. So here I have miles per gallon, right? What happens when I divide Y by 30 distance by mileage? What do I get? My miles, miles gets canceled. I get gallons per year. This tells me, this itself tells me that my total quantity of fuel used is Y by 30, right? This will help you figure out why it is not 30 by Y. Right? Miles per gallon, let's say if I have 30 by Y, that will be miles per gallon. Of course, I know that the quantity of the fuel has something to do with the mileage and the distance, right? Because mileage gives me how many miles do we drive per gallon of fuel and total miles are given by distance. So I know that it is some combination of it, right? So then units, in case you get confused, the units can really help you. If I say mileage upon distance, what does mileage upon distance give me? Think about this, say miles per year. Yeah, if I do this, I'll get year upon gallons. Does that make any sense? Can I say that, you know, 30 by Y years per gallon, is that any physical quantity? It isn't. What makes sense is gallons per year because it tells me the amount of uh, fuel that is consumed, gallons in every year, right? So this becomes, your quantity becomes Y by 30. And it makes sense also, right? Mileage, if I say my car runs 30 miles for one gallon, and if I have to run 300 miles, how many gallons will I use? You will say, okay, divide 300 by 30 because it's just so obvious, right? When, it, when I talk about numbers, it's just so obvious. I say, my car gives me 30 miles for every one gallon of fuel. If I have to go 300 miles, you will say, fine, you'll need 10 gallons of fuel. Makes sense because you're dividing that 300 by 30. That is, you're dividing that distance, the total distance that I have to travel by the mileage, 30. And you got your answer as 10, 10 gallons. But then when I have variables that, you know, it's not that obvious, right? It becomes a little bit of a problem. So either focus on the units, figure out what the units are, and then ensure you get the right answer, or take a simple example, take a simple case, take some simple uh, numbers, just the way I did right now, yeah? Okay, so the quantity here is Y by 30, and the price here is 1.05X. So then, of course, the product of these will give me the total cost. So my one should be 1.05XY by 30, and I have it over here. So cost will be 1.05XY by 30, this option, right? All right, let's look at what two is now. I'll just remove all this, and make some space. Okay, I'll keep this relation. Um, two, the to annual total miles she can drive her new car if she maintains her present annual expenditure on fuel. Now, I don't know what her, current annual expenditure on fuel is, but I can find it, right? Just like I found for one, I found the current annual cost of fuel for her new car, uh, for the diesel car. Now, her current, that is her, for the petrol car, what is the total um, annual expenditure? I can easily find. Again, I'd use the same concept. Total cost is quantity into price. Again, I have to find the total cost for petrol car. Okay. So then what do I do? I say, quantity into price currently for the petrol car. We've already discussed now, quantity is given by distance upon mileage. So this will simply be Y upon 20. I'm talking about the current petrol uh, expenditure, right? Into 
x the cost the price this is her current expenditure i want that her new expenditure should be the same total expenditure should again be the same the, then how many miles can she drive so this distance for for two this distance is a question mark this is what i need to find now you know usually when something is unknown we take a variable we put it down over there i'll just use a question mark here because we already have enough variables and i don't want to confuse myself so i'll just put question marks over here i'll say this is the distance that she has to drive distance upon the mileage we've already discussed that this would be upon the mileage this would be the actual distance that she would be driving okay into the price so into 1.05x are we good with this any confusions over here does this make sense i'll give you a minute to think about it any confusions over here is this equation clear let me know if this is not clear it is an important point make sense right i have to find the current cost that it has to be same as my new cost of course since the price of diesel is more it is 1.05x it means that i'll be able to cover you know less or more distance doesn't i don't know because the mileage is also more the mileage is 30 with diesel so the distance would have changed and what it is i can find by equating the two total annual costs right now of course my x and x gets cancelled and i simply have you know 30 goes over here i get 3 by 2 i need to find this question mark so i'll just leave this on the right hand side take everything else on the left hand side and i have a y here already and i divide this by 1.05 and this gives me the distance this is equal to the question so this gives me the distance that she can travel with the new car and this would be my 3 by 2 into y by 1.05 so my answer over here would be this one yeah is that okay again not very complicated but um you know you should know how to use mileage and as i said before mileage is a concept that gmat does use occasionally uh, in psd questions so you do need to be comfortable with it yeah.